childhood. The most extra super serious time of our lives. Sometimes I marvel, and I hope you do too, at how we get everything figured out as babies. If we are left to grow, or become fierce wild animals, we get really good at what already calls to us as babies. I loved adventure, and I became an adventurer. I had a cowboy hat, survival knife, and even two tents. <laughs> I loved mud, because I could create multi-level parking structures that I could run my matchbox cars through. And I kind of play with mud to this day, though my mud is now application architecture. Not code, not frameworks exactly, but a kind of thought mud that I sculpt into automated software. And then I run data through it, mouse clicks, HTTP traffic, XML trees, and all kinds of data arrays. Ah, uh, swear to goodness, I wasn't playing in mud as a baby, nor did I like mud itself, as it always had stuff in it. I was just architecting a structure that would accept a car on top and poop it out on the bottom. And once I got my Commodore 64, I had no need to sculpt mud. I started writing computer programs. Now I do the same on my slow little dual Raspberry Pi 4s. And I liked art. I would doodle cathedrals in chalk on concrete. I just loved the architecture. And the day I realized that the companies I was employed by were ran by unqualified and uneducated pretenders, I went to get an art book before quitting. And you know, shortly thereafter, I was able to combine a wall projector with my painting on a canvas. Using a photo editing program, I studied shadows and colors, and I even made a portable version, where I used graphite paper and printouts of my subjects. Boy, do I love blending stumps. They really changed my life. I could do photographic quality doodles. It was awesome. And I liked poetry and philosophy, always imagining them as the highest of heights. And then I smooshed the two together in my writings, creating a philosophy, highly acclaimed by the worst of my critics as neither of the two, and undoubtedly all wrong. <laughs> and you know, I liked science because of a book I borrowed from my grandpa, Universe, Life, and Human, which is exactly what short history of nearly everything by Bryson is all about. The two books even share some of the drawings. I listened and re-listened to that book dozens of times. And like most of us, I like looking at things through a very critical lens. Rather than just listening to bodybuilding advice, I took matters in my own hands. I invented what I called the bodybuilding engine, where hard-to-digest trail mix restores muscles that then can be challenged in order to grow more with protein. But I challenged my muscles with the duration of my lifting, and then gradually increase the weight of my dumbbells to increase their size. I just watched how my body was responding, and I did more of what worked, rather than blindly listening to people who think sarcasm is a social accomplishment. When my bullies came after me early on, because their stupid dads cooked their brains, for the inconvenience that their children became, no doubt. I didn't hurt them back. 
I'd push them away if they got too close, but would rather toughen myself up by standing my ground than to throw punches back. I simply never became the weak, snarling beasts that they were. And you know what that is? That's class. I had a bead on class that early on. I think West Point frames it best. By not fighting back, I rose above the common levels of life. Then when I came to America, I kept rising, right along my baby steps, to get good at what called to me. When I stopped going to school, I filled my empty days by hanging out at a smoky game arcade. I have never seen pixel art that good. Previously, I saw River Raid, Galaga, and Zack McCracken. This was still before Wolfenstein and Doom. And seeing Street Fighter and The Simpsons made me love pixel art to bits. As a result, I will never call my computer programs done until they come with multiple themes. So pixel art of my childhood made me a graphic designer on top of the programmer that I became. Ladies and germter men, being a baby is serious business. And to be clear, this is a matter of our personal curiosities. We must never allow anyone to try to standardize us, because then we pay a terrible price. We neither master what others want us to learn, nor do we ever get good at what calls to us from within. So please respect the constellation of your curiosities inside you. If your mom wants you to be a doctor, Take the money and sign her up for med school. If your father wants you to be a lawyer, take his beer and say, Dad, I need you to be sober for this. And slowly and lovingly explain how you rearranged his schedule to make sure that he is crisp when attending his new evening law school classes. You be you. Listen to your baby self and become completely overpowered for what dinky things life may throw at you. Please protect that which is already in you, as those are the things that will always be there calling for more. They are an inexhaustible force of energy. That is your joy of learning, and that is your love of life. And which is more, that is where you will find more of yourself.